Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our niche series. And we are in our clan, you guys, our Warrior Cats Challenge. And unfortunately, the clan had to vacate their previous home and is now at the top of the island, trying to hide away in the grasses from all the potential dangers. So there's lots of bears, there are bearina, there are random little bunnies that summon the bears. And so now we're trying to see if we can get our clan set up in a safe enough area while we kind of shore up our numbers and hopefully get some cats in the clan that have a little bit more strength than what we have now because to fend off those bears, we're going to need at least six strength. And I've gotten some great um, suggestions from you guys in the comments and I really appreciate that. I don't really know how we're going to deal with it, hopefully. the bears will become less OP possibly with some later updates but in the meantime we're going to be working with what we've got um, so right now we had two new little ones join the clan saffron kit which who is the first child of um, night star and spring flower and they had adorable babies I, I absolutely adore saffron kit he just he just looks so cute. And of course, Rowan Kit is the last child of Swallow Feather, who is currently deputy. Um, she's going to be in the nursery for a little bit until Swallow Kit or until Rowan Kit becomes um, becomes an apprentice or at least becomes old enough to be able to leave the nursery. And that's going to be or another six days or so, it takes a little bit for kits to grow up. Um, so she's going to be kind of out of commission for a while. So we're going to be relying on Stormclaw and Nightstar mostly to kind of pick up food and scout around the area and try and make sure we can protect this small little clan that we have right now, you guys. So right now, because of previous issues, Poppy Mist is now going to have her first and only child. Hopefully we don't have any more rogues. I don't smell anything. We do have a few Dodomingos. We have um, some nuts over here. Hopefully we may end up having or having a cat join that may have some um, collecting ability or um, nut cracking ability that will allow us to crack open those nuts and use that as a food source because we are desperately in need of food. We're also might end up having someone that might have um, digging paw maybe because we have a lot of roots around here that we might be able to use but in the meantime we do have some berries over here we might send Stormclaw out into the wilderness to see if he can find some more stuff for us to take advantage of I know there's like another berry bush in this corner over here somewhere so we should be fine but we're going to skip the day and see what um, kit Poppy Miss is going to give us in her last few days that um, Swallow Feather is just going to adopt because of course medicine cats aren't supposed to have children and this one was kind of an accident <laughs> but thankfully we're going to at least get another um, another kit to be a potential warrior or medicine cat and oh we don't want to forget Stonepaw who is working very dil diligently and um, he has about two more moons until he is um, able to become a full-fledged medicine cat which is good because Poppy Mist only has a couple like it says eight days we're considering days and moons you guys which is the easiest way for me to do that um so she has about eight moons left um hopefully that means she's gonna be able to give all of her wisdom over to stonepaw who is a very quiet and kind nicheling um oh so they do have nimble fingers i didn't even realize that so we might have some we might have stormclaw come over this way break down some of these bushes to get to the nuts underneath the tree that might be helpful for us so we might send him over that way so maybe we will be able to protect and take care of the rest of the clan okay so we're gonna skip the day and see what happens with our latest um kit and hopefully we can get spring flower on the on the nest a few more times so that she can have um she can have more babies because of course saffron kit is adorable and i want more of him for the love of oh goodness i was so scared okay okay that's a friendly berina so that's not that bad so we do have a friendly berina over here um i don't think anybody will be um 
interested in mating with it, I think it might be the one that Poppy Mist found originally. Um, Poppy Mist, you're going to jump out of the nest and let us see who this is. Korami. Let's see. So you are the daughter of a rogue male. She has antlers, the no paw. Um, I think that's a running leg. C and B immunity. So she's healthy. She does have hemophilia. Um, she has fishing tail in there. She still has a purse now, short sighted eyes. So nothing, nothing horrible. So I don't see anything that like overly worries me. Um, I think we got some good names last time. I'm trying to think of some of the names that everyone, everyone sent me. You guys always give me so many names. Um, I always end up running out actually. <laughs> I always end up having to sift through everything just to see if I can find a good name. Um, ooh, I like this one. Acorn Kit. I like that one. That should work. So Acorn Kit. Does she have spots? No, she has no pattern, but she has a mask in there. Aw, she's kind of cute. I don't know how helpful she's going to be, but hopefully it won't be um, too big of a deal. So we're going to have Swallow Feather get rid of that nest because it was more of a temporary nest. We don't really need it. Um, we'll have Rowan Kit. Um, trying to think of the best way to do this. We'll have Rowan Kit come over here and Swallow Feather jump over here just so that she can look after both of them. Saffron Kit. Um, let's move Spring Flower right here. Saffron Kit's gonna go here. Like this general area is going to be part of the nursery. And then we'll move Spring Flower back into the nest. And then let's have Night Star pick up these berries. Um, Let's have spring flower. Let's pick up that. Do we smell or anything? There's the barina. Um, I don't want to move Stormclaw from this area just because there are so many potential dangers. I don't want him to leave the area where the kits may possibly get in danger. So I'm going to leave him in the grass right here so he can illuminate that. Um, Let's have, let's go deeper. Well, let's send Poppy Mist all the way down here and we'll bring, um, I don't think she can, no, she can't break that down. Um, but we'll bring um, Stone Paw around this side and sh we're gonna see if we can get Nightstar to break this down so she can get at those nuts. Um, the tree is probably going to be a really interesting thing for Poppy Mist because like we said before, she's been examining the poison berries and all the plants on the island. And I think the tree will be something that she would really much enjoy because of how different it is from all the other bushes and grasses they've been exposed to since they've been here. Okay, so right now, spring flower, as the current lady on the nest, we are going to, does she have, is she gonna have her baby? Yeah, she can have her baby this time. They usually have to wait two days minimum and we can only have as many babies as we have nests. So the temporary nest wasn't really, um, was only needed specifically for poppy mist. Um, like Swallow Feather wouldn't be able to like have a baby in this nest and then jump down and then have another baby in a different nest. She would have to wait until this nest was available again. Um, when we have permanent nests, we don't have to worry about using our nesting material. So Spring Flower is only able to use her nest when there are no kits in it. So she has to basically have one litter, we're saying, and then wait until that litter's old enough to leave the nest and then she can have another litter but they all have to stay in the nursery until they're old enough. So she cannot, she can't leave the nursery unless there is someone watching her kits. So if she has a litter of kits, so let's say if she has saffron kit and there's no one else, she can't leave. But if Swallow Feather is here and she has kits, she can stay, but she can't, um, she can't stay if she doesn't have her own, at least one of her own kits still in the nursery. It's a little complicated, but it's, it makes sense in practice. Let's see if the day. Oh my goddess. 
Oh, Night Star, you hurt yourself. Oh no. Um, let's have Poppy Mist purr for a second, just so that she can help heal him up. Um, he has three days left, so hopefully that healing will, will work a little bit. So let's break this down. Stonepaw! Stonepaw is old enough now, so now we have to name him. Oh, I hate when I have to name things. We'll keep him at his apprentice colors because technically Poppy Mist is still here. Um, let's move Stonepaw to right about here. Oops, that was unnecessary and I did that on accident. Um, there we go. And then we'll pick up these berries. So we're missing one, let's see, yeah, we're missing one, one kind of food. Um, I don't see any other food sources. Let's see, spring flower, who did you bring into the clan? Len Rihanna. Oh, she's pretty. She looks just like her mama, but darker. Like that's just exactly what she is. She is just like her mama, except darker. Yeah, she pretty much has her exact patterning. That's, that's kind of adorable, except for the tail. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, and she looks pretty good. I actually haven't touched Spring Flower's genetics. I don't think I actually did much of anything to her, to her genetics now that I remember, but Lenriana. We're gonna go with Golden Kit because that's so cute. She may end up being called Golden Flower after her mother. Um, so Golden Kit. Does she have? Does she have big body? She does. <gasps> that is cool. And she has heat body in her active traits. That is awesome. Where is Night Star? Did you have that in your inactives? No, you had heat body in here. And then Spring Flower. Spring Flower had the big body. So Golden Kit is going to be a big and buff, but she's not going to have any, like any claws or any horns. That's going to be very interesting. So we're going to have saffron kit move over here um let's see spring flower well we're gonna want you to have another baby so we're gonna have you sit over here and look after your little golden kit um acorn kit we're gonna want you to move further in um i don't know if there's any other food around here there's bears right there oh no and they still have five cent. So I don't, I think we're far enough away. I don't want it to be a problem, but it's the, the bears right there. Oh no. Um, how many moves do you have? Okay. So we, is there any bluebirds in the sky? There aren't. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cheat and then go back. This is cause we need that food. So we're gonna, we broke down those poison berries and then hopefully next time, Stone Paw, well, we know if we still have to name him, ooh. So Stone, ooh, Stone Pool. That's super easy. Look at me using all my warrior cat lore. Um, let's have Stormclaw. Yeah, you're gonna stay right there. Try picking that up. Rowan kit, I think, is probably the most antsy out of all of the kits that are in the nursery at the moment. Um, but as long as Swallow Feather is here, um, she's basically telling her to stay put. I think she, I think Rowan kit takes after her mother in the sense that she's probably a little bit um, hyper, like Swallow Feather used to be when she was a when she was an apprentice. Ooh, that's also going to be a thing. We're going to need some pe We're going to need individuals to apprentice all of these cats. Um, acorn kit. I mean, it's happened before where individuals have apprenticed more than one. So it's possible. Acorn kit, how many moons do you have left? Um, acorn kit has three moons before they're able to become a full-fledged apprentice. So they may be able to... Um, be apprenticed to their parents. Nightstar may not live that long. Mm, I'm a little skeptical about that. 
But that may mean Stormclaw may be able to have an apprentice. Ooh, this should be fun. Hopefully we'll be able to like find some or some more cats to join the clan. So let's skip the day. Okay, so you're friendly, Barina. I'm pretty sure we fed you. Yeah, we tamed this one. I think this one is the one that Swallowfeather is going to find a little bit frustrating because of course she doesn't really um, this is one of this is the child of one of the Barinas that attacked her when she was first started having her kids. So I feel like she would not be super happy to have to have this big giant thing shuffling around her children, but um, it's not dangerous, so at least that's what Poppy Mist would tell her. Okay, so let's have stone pool let's move this way oh gosh um let's knock that pick that up let's pick up these two um let's have golden kit get close to swallow feather as one of the kits in the nursery we have a lot of kits and unfortunately we may or may not have enough individuals to apprentice them um night star we're gonna need you to start finding some more food sources um i don't smell anything let's see is the bear still here yeah the bear's still there yeah, we're not sensing anything. There's bunnies over here, but I'm super shy to actually start attacking them. The friendly Barina may keep away the bears, so we'll leave that to him. Let's see if there's any... We really just want to find some food. Um, I don't think there's any fish here. Yeah, I'm not sensing any fish. There's an acorn down here. We have enough food to last us this other time. Um, cats are going to start passing away, and unfortunately, um, let's see, Nightstar only has three. Yeah. He has three moons left? Yeah, so he doesn't have long at all, actually. Um, hopefully we'll be able to support all of these apprentices but they may be helpful once they're a little bit older um i can't really they can't really move or do much of anything at the moment um let's have spring plower pick up that food poppy mist is, is being super helpful because she's the one picking up the acorns and stuff um let's skip the day unfortunately Stormclaw's not finding anything on um his adventures out there. Oh, come on. Um, there we go. So at least we got some food. But there is a... Um, what's it called? A dangerous Barina over there. So he's going to come back to the clan to hopefully be here as a protector. Um, we're probably going to have... Um, let's see. <gasps> Ooh, new kit. Kirku. Ah, oh, so many cute little ones. You look just like your brother. Um, let's see. What are we going to name you? You look just like your brother. Just pretty much gray. <laughs> just in purplish. That's cute. Um, let me think. Um, some people have been giving me some cute names. Let's see. I kind of like... Mmm... There's Wild Strike. Ooh, J Flight. I like that one. So J Kit. Because he has like a little bit light bluish, bluish gray and he has green eyes. He's going to be pretty. He's going to be pretty as an adult. 
And he's going to have claws and that stealthy paw. He's going to be great. I like him. So he is E and C. What do his siblings have? E and D, B and D, K and E. Okay. So Saffron Kit and B D E B E C C B. Okay, so currently none of these guys can mate with each other. Except for maybe Golden Kit and Stormclaw. Um, Stonepool is going to be a medicine cat, so he's not going to be having any kits. Oof. So we're going to definitely need some new blood. Um, hopefully, let's see. Moo, friendly Brarina. I can't look at my kits. Acorn Kit. She is CB. And Brarina's... And eh, the Brarina won't leave, live that long. Um... So maybe uh, Acorn Kit, CB, and nope, not even then. So I don't know. This is going to be very interesting, you guys. Um, so we now have J Kit, Golden Kit, Saffron Kit, Rowan Kit, and Acorn Kit as part of the clan. Stonepool, we need you to knock some more acorns down. Um... Let's see. We need Poppy Mist to pick those up. Hopefully we'll have enough food. Oop, there's clownfish down that way. Um so we'll spring flower come here so she can start clearing out this area so all of the kits will be able to be seen. Um let's see, did the Mean bearing a move, it did not. So we're going to have a swallow feather move here. We'll move Rowan Kit back into the nest. We're seeing swallow feathers basically pushing all of the kits closer to the nursery, and the friendly bearina is kind of helping to flank on the other side because, of course, we tamed the friendly bearina. I know the friendly bearina kind of works almost like a dog. But I don't know. I haven't really figured out how we're going to translate Barinas into um, warrior cat lore. But, eh, it's not necessary. Um, let's see. Nightstar still has three days left, thanks to Poppy Mist healing. Um, so let's see. Are there any other things... Yeah, we can't see the bear anymore. Um, let's send Nightstar out this way just a tad. <gasps> berries! We found some more berries. We'll be able to expand the territory out to this way then. Maybe once some of the apprentices are older, we'll be able to send them out. Maybe Spring Flower will be able to take one or two. Um, hopefully... Yeah, so in the next turn, these guys will start being able to be old enough. Um, I think since Rowan Kit is... Um, Swallow Feathers only kit. Swallow Feather will actually start to be able to apprentice some of these guys. Okay. And we might send Saffron Kit off with Stormclaw as his apprentice. That would actually be a good turn of events. Okay, I think this is where we're going to end this part right here, you guys. We have a lot of things we're trying to accomplish, but thankfully, the clan is surviving. We're doing fine. It's okay. That's what we're going to keep telling ourselves. We're doing fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so worried. <laughs> you guys have no idea. I'm so worried for these guys. The Swallow Feather has been such a good job as, like queen slash deputy while taking care of everyone while Nightstar tries to find food sources and Poppy Mist and Stonepool are working on the plants to find more food and Stormclaw has been scouting and doing patrols even as an alone warrior um, since he's gotten really good at sketching through the grass after their long trek long trek from their ancestral ground like it's the old nursery <laughs> the old nursery is still here and there's a bear like right right around this area there's a bear in the way of all the food that was down here and yeah but there's also a bearina that's helping us out 
So hopefully we'll be able to kind of get settled more in this area maybe because this one's not as secluded as I'd like it to be. So maybe we'll move the full on nursery over here and keep this as kind of like a side thing so we can not have to worry about the barrier, the bear that's kind of trudging around in this area. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments, um, oh gosh, what you guys think or who you guys think Swallowfeather's deputy should be. I'm pretty sure we should have it be Stormclaw because he's going to be the oldest and Swallowfeather may not be around for that much longer. She'll be able to take over as clan leader and Stormclaw would be able to be deputy and that would mean that we may have a leader that lasts for a little bit longer than six six moons. We're having very short-lived leaders thanks to the fact that um, all of our cats seem to die so quickly thanks to all of our wandering and running around. Hopefully we um, have found a nice settled area that we can keep and of course our friendly Barina is gonna try and help us out as long as possible. He has like about four days left on his life but hopefully he'll be able to keep the bears at bay until some of our kids are old enough to start fighting on their own. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the series down in the comments below who your favorite cat is. I'm kind of partial to Golden Kit and Saffron Kit. They're like they're not like opposites but I imagine that she's like the giant older like younger sister to like the smaller older brother and like he's technically stronger than her like that weird interesting little dynamic I kind of love it and of course J-Kid is too young to actually think about any of this but these guys have probably gotten into or probably get into a lot of trouble but I hope you guys are enjoying the series please leave a like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you really love me and I will see you guys next time bye